What? This chair. You did something to the chair. I didn't do anything to the chair. And first of all, your chair is way too high. No, no, we did this last time. You said this time. Listen you said I could be as high as you. Listen to me. Listen to me. I'm going to need you to bring that down. I'm not bringing the chair down. Too high up. This is something we've done before. I'm this not bringing it. So I'm going to. I'm just going to say something real quick. What are the three biggest interviews in the history of wrestling? Well, uh, so first guy. Adam was, Cole did very well. Yeah, but what were the the three highest? Viewed videos was with what guest, or guests should I say? Or was it one? I'm just curious. You. Okay, so it was. You were number one. Number one was MJF, yeah. and then number two was. M MJF. Oh wow! And then number three. Lower your chair, or the cash cow leaves. All the way down. Wrestling. It is wrestling. Wrestling rides again. Wrestling, the number one professional wrestling podcast in this room currently. And we have a guest today. That can't be true. We do have a guest. You're a guest. No, 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 no. The number one wrestling. There's no way that's real. The, this is number one wrestling podcast? In is this it? company, it is. Okay. How well, many are there? Well. In Barstool? Huh? How it's many? not that it's not that big of a deal. You know, oh. numbers are numbers. You Got know, it. Meltzer, yeah, yeah. we can make we can make ratings look the, any way we that's want. That's true. Them look. That's yeah. true. Meltzer's yeah. given six stars in matches that should be three. And, should be three. You yeah. know, and, and three to you that should be six, seven. I've never gotten. I've never received three stars. I've always received like four and seven eighths. He's never given me five because. You well, know, I want to give. It, is he racist against Jewish people? I, I think it has something to do with being uh, a Jew hater for sure. Okay. All yeah. right. I've I've heard him mum mumble some like stuff under his breath that's pretty anti-Semitic. Mm -hmm. But I'm sure he means well. I can see where someone would do that. Yeah. What? What was that? What happened? We get it. You're from Missouri or whatever. I'm from Mississippi, and you know that. And AEW's been there, and you've been there, and you did a great job. It's all the That's same. a different ring than the last time I saw you. So the ring's been upgraded. I have now won the Dynamite Diamond Ring. Uh, I am a three-time, three-time, three-time Dynamite Diamond Ring champion. Time. So we had time out. When yep. did you win the third one? What are you talking about? You won it twice. I don't remember you winning three. Three times, back to back to back. Okay, when's, when did you win the third time? Okay, first opponent when I won this ring was Hangman Adam Page. Sure. Second opponent, can you remember? No. Okay, third opponent was Dante. <laughs> you couldn't remember it either. Okay. I can't remember the second opponent either. <laughs> okay, fair enough. All right, I haven't introduced you yet. This is the fastest rising star in the history of professional wrestling, and I don't even think you should call him a rising star anymore because he's pretty much a star. It's over. It's done. And I'm going to be honest. I'm going to say something, a compliment to you right now. Oh. You ready? Yeah. Can you take a compliment? Are you comfortable taking a compliment? If it came from someone I respected, yes. But I'll listen? And see you wait it out then after I yeah, say it? Yeah, sure, okay. sure. Here's the compliment. AEW this summer wasn't as good without MJF in the fold. Now you're back. Is that your astute observation? That's, that's my like observation. This, this brain, you don't think that's a good just observation? This explosion of the... Of course! Look at the ratings since I've come back! Okay, but they not, needed me. Of course, they needed you. And do you know why they needed me? Because I am one of the last prick. real draws in professional wrestling today. So Tony Khan had no choice but to give me all that money. That's it. Okay, so you came back at All Out. Yeah. In Chicago. Yes, I did. And they, they played. Screamed my name. My ears were bleeding. They played a voicemail. Yes. When you were coming back, they played a voicemail from Tony Khan where Tony's like, please, Max, come back. I'll pay you whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But they yeah. bleeped out the money amount, the dollar amount. How much yes. money did he pay you to come back? A lot of money. A lot. A fucking stupid amount of money. And I was already rich prior, but it was the principal for me. So high, now... High six figures? I'm like poor. <laughs> well, that's... We're making... Daddy's making good money right now. Daddy's making what he deserves. Based on what other top guys in the industry's make. Is Daddy close enough to the mic? I just turned him up. Thanks. Why don't you just uh, like I said, like everybody else? Like I said, uh, look at guys, me with the mic. You guys have to work towards me. <laughs> this show has to abide by my rules. That's right. Pick it up. Because I run this place. You don't run this place. I run this place. Three videos that you have ever done. It's not true. On shitty wrestling. That's not the name of the show. Is MJF? MJF? MJF. I'm still racking my brain on who the second title. Orange Cassidy. Yes. yes. That's who it was. Orange that's Cassidy. who it was. Yep. Orange Cassidy. I I'm a big fan of that guy. I'm glad somebody is. That's great. <clears throat> welcome back to wrestling. Oh, thank you. Thank Not you. the show. Just welcome back. Oh, to in the general. general. Yeah, yes, yeah, yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. It was it was miserable without me. So. Um, the Joker outfit you put together. Mm -hmm. Did you get that at TJ Maxx? Very funny. 
So I have a got a suit guy. All my suits are custom. Not this. I, I understand. See, I'm not done. Okay. Sorry. Fucking moron. And my suit guy, David Allen, he made me a custom suit head to toe that would cover all of my skin. David Allen, you can get that at like Nordstrom Rack. No, no, no. David Allen is literally he's a custom suit guy. He makes custom suits. He actually just had a runway show. Co? I think, two weeks ago? Huh? Hmm? David Allen. So okay. D A. If you ever see a D A. I'm Cena, looking at one right now. Cena wears it. I know you know you know who John Cena is. Well, you're just copying Cena's suit guy? Yeah, he's one of the greatest suits I've ever seen on a guy on the red carpet. I said, who's Cena's suit guy? I got the information, and that was it. So he made me a suit to cover me all up so people wouldn't be able to 110% uh, be able to say it was me. Yeah. And I had the mask made by a company called Rockwell Masks, and they made a delectable, delightful devil mask for me. Mm -hmm. It worked out great. It was a good mask. The devil returned. The greatest trick the devil ever pulled was convincing the world he didn't exist. I am back. You are welcome. Mm -hmm. And here we are. So I got to ask you something. Yeah. You were gone from three months. Thank you very much. So you're back. I know you have trouble with you know math. No, so I wrote I it down. It says three months right there. That's a four. It's a three in Mississippi. Anyway, yeah. uh, where were you for three months? Because I know you're back now, and I know where you were back then. So here's exactly where were you down. for three months? Here's exactly what went down. I felt that fans didn't deserve to see me unless they had to. That's right. Adjust to me. A fans didn't. You almost got it. Got it. Yeah, you got really hairy arms. Anybody ever tell you that? Well, for for a guy blonde with blonde hair, hair it's, it's blonde very hair. Hairy. Like if you had black hair on your arms, you would look like fucking Chewbacca. Well, no, I, this is just my hair. This is. Are natural. you married? I can't remember. Oh, buddy. Oh. Oh, we're gonna get to that. Okay. I'm gonna give you some advice. I'm gonna I'm gonna lay it out for you. Gonna give, I'm gonna let you know. You how, need to give me, of course, one of the biggest stars in the history of the business at only the tender age of 26. Life advice? Yeah, marriage advice? Sure. You know why? That'll be interesting. You know I, why? I don't need to know why. So anyway, back to what I was doing, because you're interviewing me and you brought me in here because I'm the draw and you're just the shitty little host that's trying to get this thing above board. I'm not little. I'm very overweight. Got it. What were we talking about again? I can't even remember. I swear I don't remember. I asked you yeah. where you've been for three months. Got it. So I felt that fans didn't have the right to see me unless I was being compensated to be seen by them. Sure. So I took my now beautiful fiance, who is a smoking hot redhead with G -g 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 gigantic jugs, fat ass, abs, incredible artist. You can buy all of her stuff. Uh, Naomi Rosenblum, I believe, underscore art is her Instagram. Mm -hmm. If I got that wrong, your producer guy will put up the right handle. I don't fucking know. Can I slide she, in them DMs? She may, dude, go right ahead. You all can stare. As long as you buy a piece of art, just know that you'll never be able to touch because there's only one ride that that girl goes on and it's the maximum ride. And that's all that matters. Now, so for two weeks, me and her went to Greece. Mykonos, Santorini, Athens. And then the last two to three days of the trip, we went to Venice, Italy. Then I came home and I said to myself, the fans don't deserve to see me unless I'm being compensated for it. I didn't want anyone to take a photo of me, yeah. a video of me, nothing. Stop trying to talk. Stop it. So what I did was I stayed home for all three months. I had a gym in my home. Um, I would have food delivered to me because it was really important to me that when I delivered the line, the greatest trick the devil ever pulled was convincing the world he didn't, he didn't exist. It meant something because mm -hmm. no one knew whether or not MJF was still even here anymore. You know, I, I, I went on vacation during the summer, too. Yeah, where'd you go? Ibiza. Ibiza. Is that like a subsection of Greece? It's a very expensive place. It's much more expensive than Greece. Much more. You sure about that? Yeah. I don't. I don't find that. Is that like, was it Ibiza, Pennsylvania? Like no. near Hershey Park? It, like Ibiza it, it Beach on Jersey Shore? Got it. Got it. Got it. <clears throat> Is Pennsylvania lovely this time of year? I've never been to Hershey Park. Uh, I have been to Hershey Park. I didn't ask you that. I thought you were asking I me said that. I haven't been there. No, I have been to Hershey Park. How was it? It, was it seems like a poor place for you. It, so here's here's what happened. Yeah. Right? I was, I was brought there. Mm -hmm. um, I was very nervous that I would be kind of hounded by a bunch of disgusting mouth breathers. I was, Yeah. but the rides were fun. What constitutes a mouth breather? So a mouth breather to me is, I think you're a prime example. Can you just look at the camera? His, while his mouth is even slightly closed, he's still slack jawed, right? He's constantly just, you can tell he's grasping for air. Like he is constantly out of breath. Um, an idiot, someone who is empty headed, Someone who clearly, clearly, clearly has no understanding of anything that's going on around him at any given time. 
That is what a mouth breather is. As you're breathing heavily into the microphone. I got to be honest. I was trying not to breathe through my mouth. Yeah. And I almost passed and, out. Yeah. I almost passed yeah. out just now. You were getting red in the face. You use the phrase empty headed. Yes. That's a good phrase. Isn't that it? one sure does go around a lot, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. Is that the only phrase you guys know backstage? Um, no, I, I'm not quite understanding where you're uh, where you're going with this. On your big return night, yes, other things happened. They did, yes. What? There were there were plenty of matches. Did you take that well? All the matches that went down, I didn't care. Maybe about. after after your return. I don't know what you're alluding to, sir. You have to be straight shooter with me. Well, That's the only after way your return, yes, I'm being coy. Okay. You don't want me to be coy? I can't be coy? I'm not a coy guy. I'm, okay, I'm well, I'm not going to be coy. I'm the mention of the center. All right, after, after your big return, yep. the AEW champion at the time went in on a press conference and yes. said all kind of crazy shit. Okay. And then leading to a bunch of crazy shit in the company. Yes. How would you feel about that? Didn't affect me one bit. Did you hear the pop I got on Dynamite the following week? It was week? pretty big. It was pretty big. <laughs> it was pretty big. Excuse me? I made Road Warrior pop. It's not the Road Warrior pop anymore. It's the MJF pop. You've That's, taken control of the Road Warrior it's, pop. It's done. It's over. It's, it's the MJF pop now. And you're going to hear it again R. R. this Road week Warriors. at Arthur Ashe. This is going to come out before the Arthur Ashe. It is. Wednesday. It's coming out tonight. You're going to hear. Shut up. You're going to hear that you pop me when it, this week at the Arthur Ashe. AEW Dynamite Grand Slam, you will be able to watch that show Wednesday night from 8 to 10 on, on TBS. TBS. Thank you very much. Um, Arthur Ashe, it's a tennis stadium. You got thick thighs. You look like you could have played some tennis. I'm jacked, yeah. yeah. I'm not a tennis guy. Never though. got into tennis? I was a big football player, which I know you know because I believe we played the highlight. Yeah, video. but uh, that wasn't. That was uh, Long Island High School football is nothing. I mean, that's, that's nothing. First conference. I, was, uh, I had numerous D1 offers, as you know. Why didn't you take any of them? I did, and then I left. To, oh, that's right, to, to, to become the to fastest rising become, Well, not star. anymore, just the star. The literally, star. the star. You can call me. So there's the, there's, there was a wrestling god. Right. I'm the wrestling devil. Right? Oh, I kind of like that. Don't you? Do, do you, you want to know why you, you want like me to that? like that? Do you want to know why you like that? Because you're a devil worshiper. That's not true. And so are all my fans. The, God, if that goes on a t-shirt. Oh. By the way, what do I do with my pinnacle t-shirt Oh, you're all devil now? worshipers. What's going on? What do I do with my pinnacle t-shirt? You can fucking throw that in the bin, pal. <laughs> okay. Fuck Wardlow. I can tell you that much. All right, I guess that's oh. done. Oh, Wardlow, Wardlow. Here's the world's smallest violin for me getting you insanely over. <laughs> Did you, do you want us to put in some Your wife's so hot Your wife's so hot oh. So you're back now Yes I am What's your big plan Because obviously you had it planned out That you're going to come back You're the devil And now you have a shot you're I have a around, chip You have a chip You're carrying around a chip Casino ladder match gives I you won a shot. the chip yes. With the firm mm -hmm. That consists of We're going to talk about the firm talents. We're going to yeah, talk yeah. about the firm Well we better We will Okay don't holler at me. Uh, uh, do you want me to leave? I swear to God. I swear to fucking... I can't back that up. I'm sorry. What were we talking about? I don't remember. What's your big plan? It's pretty simple. So, this week, we have a probably one of the biggest main events in the history of our company. I would argue it is is certainly one of the biggest main events in the history of your company. Yeah. Uh, it is John Moxley. What are you, a fucking parrot? It is John Moxley, former AEW champion against mm. Brian Danielson. Fake they're tough guy. They're both in the. Uh, yep. Which one's fake tough? John. Uh, is Brian Danielson tough? Honestly, I, I could probably be the shit out of both of them. They're both Black, in the, Blackpool yeah. Cuckold Club. Blackpool Combat Club. That's with what I said. Black, you said Cuckold. Oh, sorry. With William Regal. Yeah. Could you beat the shit out of him? Okay. The, Fair the enough. old guy? Yeah, he's also British. The old guy that almost died? I think I could whip the shit like out of him. Like twice? You think I could beat up William Regal? No. Okay. You couldn't beat up anybody. I could beat up somebody. I don't think I don't think there's actually I don't think there's one solitary person in all of Barstool that you could fuck up. When I was when I was eighteen years old, I beat up somebody named Jonathan. Okay. I went to his house yep. before the football game and yep. I beat him up. And I was six five, he was five two, and he was two years younger than me. Doesn't matter, I won the fight. You, did you win? I did. Yeah. You sure? Decisively. I wish we had a video of that for proof. Well, we didn't have video. Because I have a feeling have little, video back then. little Jonathan yeah. probably tuned you up. He didn't tune me up. Nobody's ever up. tuned me up. So anyway, biggest one of the biggest main events, maybe the biggest main event in the history of our company is this Wednesday uh, for AEW Dynamite Grand Slam. And what I'm doing, my plan is this. Yeah. I'm waiting in the wings. Mm -hmm. I have this chip. I can cash this chip in whenever I want. Now, hold question. I am going to. Sorry. I'm 
Sorry. I, that's me. I'm I'll sorry. let this rest of this fucking thing be dead air. I know, you I'm think sorry. I give a shit? I'm sorry. I'm getting money regardless. We're not paying you for this. Yes, you are. Okay, fair enough. I'm going to be waiting in the wings. I will pick the bones of whoever wins this match. Am I going to do it at Grand Slam? I don't know. Maybe I'll do it the next week in Philly. Maybe I'll do it the week after that in D.C. Mm -hmm. Who's to say? What, you, what we do know is this. Unequivocally, we know this for a fact. MJF will be the AEW World Heavyweight Champion. That's just a fact. And that's my well, plan. That's a prediction. That's not really a fact. It's a fact. You'll have to and beat facts somebody. Facts don't care about you're your gonna feelings. Have, you're going to have to thank what you, I'm gonna Mr. Shapiro. What I'm going to have to do is beat someone who is beaten and broken down. So it's going to be a pretty easy day in the office. Is this chip, uh, does it have money in the bank qualities where, where you can cash it in whenever? Or is it you have to say beforehand? So I do have to have a conversation okay. with someone beforehand. But clear. that does not mean that all parties need to be in the know of said conversation. I see. I see. You just need somebody to be able to ring the bell, kind of stuff like that. A little that. bit of clearance. Speaking of clearance. Yes. How's your relationship with Tony Khan? Great now. It was horrible back then. Well, what made it better? Uh, don't say just say the money. Money. Don't just say but the money. But it's the truth. Money. Am I going to sit here and pretend that uh, I wasn't spotlighted properly? No, because I'm, I'm not a fucking idiot. Mm -hmm. I was the most talked about person on that entire show. I left, and then for three months, I was still the most talked about person on that entire show because everybody was going, Jesus Christ, I wish MJF was back. So when Tony Khan contacted me and realized that he needed the devil back, mm -hmm. he got the devil back. I shined up my fucking pitchfork, mm -hmm. and now I'm back on TV. <clears throat> so, yes, it was literally only about money, which I know is hard for people to understand, but I'm a top guy. Sure. I deserved top guy pay. Now I'm getting more <laughs> but I'm getting more than fucking You were already top making guy. a lot of money. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you're not, not just enough. making more. Now I'm just making more. Uh, so this Wednesday, Arthur Ashe Stadium, yep. it is a huge main event. We will find out who the AEW champion is. Yep. It'll be Moxley or it'll be Danielson. Break your hand there, pal. Huh? I said, don't break your hand there. You almost broke your hand on that little No, I'm, I'm making a point. Okay. I'm making a point. Yeah. It'll be Danielson or Moxley. Do you care which one wins? No, I don't give a shit. Because it does seem, in the last couple of weeks, you've been focusing your anger and your ire I on a, John Moxley. I have an issue with Jonathan. What's the, I do. What's the issue? My issue was when I was standing toe-to-toe -to -toe with him in the ring. Right. And we were eye-to-eye. -eye. Yeah. He had a look on his face like he was nonplussed. And that pisses me off beyond belief. Because that means you don't take me seriously as a threat. Yeah. And that's a huge fucking mistake. Well, he's been in the ring with you before. Oh, he has. Yeah. And guess who had to cheat to beat me by using an illegal maneuver in order to get the victory in the matchup? Him. Him. Mm -hmm. He had to use paradigm shift. Now, by the way, if I ever face this gentleman again, he can hit me with seven of those. I don't give a shit. Yeah. There is no world where John Moxley, Chris Jericho, Brian Danielson, Hangman Adam Page, fucking Will Hobbs, fucking Ricky Starks, anybody, you name them. No one's beating me ever again. And that's a fucking fact. Ever. 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 When you get in the And here's and I'm not done. Sorry, I thought. And you I'm were. gonna win that world title. I don't care if it goes on Danielson. I don't care if it goes on Moxley. I don't care who it goes on. It doesn't matter to me. I'm gonna win that world title. I'm gonna hold it till January first, twenty twenty four. And then I am going to go to the highest bidder. Could be anybody. As long as it's not New Japan. Fucking hate. New Japan. Don't want to go to Japan. It's literally, I don't understand how people still pretend it's a company that's, like, important. It's wild to me. What if they paid you the most money, though? It, I, honest, they could pay me a billion dollars. I won't go. So, really, we're just talking probably two bidders. I mean, no. AEW, maybe another wrestling company. Well, who's to say that there can't be a financial backer who wants to start a wrestling promotion that's willing to pay me an absurd amount of money I've in been... the United States of America? Listen, I'm very good friends with Freddie Prince Jr. No, I'm being completely transparent. I'm very good friends with Freddie Prince Jr. Mm -hmm. He's starting a wrestling company. Who's to say that he doesn't shell up enough money for MJF? Who knows? Who knows who his financial backers are? That would be quite the summer catch. I saw what you did there, and I want you to know. You, you are you're a fucking dad. <laughs> you know that was good. You have to be You know that was good. You're literally that was one of the worst dad jokes I've ever heard in my fall. You enjoyed it? I see a behind behind this all you were like, oh that's fucking good. That's a good joke. See how much joy's in his face right now? My God. It's just it's just alive in here right now. Um you came back in Chicago. I did. And then you to went to an enormous reaction. In in the hometown of somebody else. Yeah. 100%. With him standing in the fucking ring? You can say his name. His name's CM Punk. His name is CM Punk. Yeah. I don't know how, how, I don't know how Dude, it works. Dude, there is, there is nothing that you can't ask me, talk to me about. Doesn't mean I have to, I can, I might say no comment. 
Yeah. But you don't have to pretend well, that not. people aren't real human beings that exist. Well, let me tell you. That's the, fucking wild. Let me tell you the truth. Yeah. Let me tell you the truth. Sure. I watched AEW this summer. Yep. And the whole time I'm like, this show would be a lot more entertaining with Max back. Yeah, no shit. That's what everybody right. says. Now That's you're, why I make stupid, stupid amount of money right now. Now you're back. And yes. I just want to talk about. And I have a hot fiance. I just Everything's want, going my way. I just want to talk about everything going forward. Of not course. backwards. Yeah. Backwards sucks. Sure. I want to go forward. Let's talk forward then. Let's talk about the fact that. Are we you going to be the AEW champion by the end of 2022? One million percent. And let's also talk about the fact that the ratings have already started to skyrocket since I've come back. Sure. Listen, this is how wrestling works. It's a circle. I it's know how cyclical. wrestling works. Stop talking. You'll know when you should talk. It's cyclical. If somebody leaves, another person's going to step up to the plate and they're going to figure it out and adjust because that's what this business is about. There are guys in the back that are feeding. Foaming at the mouth for an opportunity. So anybody who's worried about AEW yeah. because this person or that person's gone, it's a silly, silly, silly argument. Warner Brothers Discovery is over the moon that MJF's back. Warner Brothers Discovery is over the moon with AEW because we're number one or number two every week on Wednesday nights. Yeah, It's wild to me that there's, this, there's just this weird hard-on for people pretending that the company's in trouble we're in really good shape right now. Well, I never said the company was in trouble. No, 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 I know. To me, you're talking to I'm talking people. to the fans watching. Yeah. We're in really good shape right now. And this is something I discussed on uh, Ariel Hawani's um, little MMA hour uh, a little while ago earlier today. I don't think that show exists in here. It's, it's, it definitely does, and it's a better show than yours, but I'm, I digress. And I said, you don't want professional wrestling to be a monopoly. Because if professional wrestling is a monopoly, then talents like me aren't going to be able to get treated to the treated the way that we should be treated because if there's only one show in town then we're not able to ask for more money and we're not able to ask for more benefits i bet you and aew is doing uh, and I'm, I'm not just saying this it's not fucking hyperbole aew is doing really good right now but it had to piss you off on your big night that other people took to try to take the spotlight did it though because again the following dynamite people went absolutely bonkers MJF, they did they did mjf road warrior pop as we discussed earlier. Well, so, no. I thought you replaced didn't, the Road Warrior it didn't, pop. Well, I'm just using it as reference What about again. Austin? Austin had a good pop. It was not an MJF pop, though. It was pretty I've, close. I've met Stone Cold Steve Austin. I did his podcast. I, I've met him fucking, as well. He's, 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 he was the first guest in the history of wrestling. He's okay. Um, but, uh, yeah, man. I mean, he's, like, no, he's no Roman Reigns. I wasn't concerned. Mm -hmm. I know who I am. I know a lot of people on Twitter were concerned. Like, oh, man, does this ruin MJF's moment? You tell me. You've been watching the show the last two weeks. Mm -hmm. You hear the crowd when I come out. The answer is no. The show goes on, baby. The show goes on. Why do you think people are starting to like you? Because you are a colossal prick. My devil worshippers? Yes. Yeah. You know, it's funny. What are you laughing about? Devil worshippers. Like, is this a thing that's going to happen? Is this a thing that's going to happen? This We're going to have devil worshippers every Wednesday night? Every Wednesday night, devil worshippers are coming out with their pitchforks, Daddy. That's how it works. I have to. Uh, it's a done deal. I have I'm to, a god to these people. I have to drink my throat coat. Yeah, yeah. Go for it. Um, honestly, here's the deal. People like raw honesty. And I'm a salty earth kind of guy. I'm very honest. I'm very transparent. I'm very real. Nothing about me is fake or phony like a John Moxley, as I discussed this right. past Wednesday. I think he puts on a fake tough guy persona, and I think people aren't seeing through it for some reason, but I do. Do you ever get concerned about him when he does that whole this, this thing? I, wor I, worry. Scoliosis? I worry. I worry. Scoliosis, maybe Tourette's? I, I don't know. There's some, something's up. It is up. weird. Like all something's that, up. Yeah. You know? And again, I don't judge anybody. It's 2022. You, cannot, you judge everybody. You, okay, maybe I judge. Well, you know what? I judge everybody equally. How about okay. that? Okay. Does that make it right? South Park does it. It's true. If South Park does it, anybody can do it. You came back in Chicago. Yep. Then you went to Buffalo. Okay. You hate both of those cities. It was, it's been a tough last two weeks. And it's going to be even rougher in Queens. I'm just, I thought you liked New York. Not Queens, man. But isn't Queens, Queens is like... Isn't Queens the front door to Long Island? Uh, when people say this... Queens get, is the front door to Long Island. You can't go to Long Island without going through Queens. I get furious when people say this. Queens... If it was a part of Long Island, and if Long Island was a family, yeah. you got Suffolk County, Nassau County, Queens. Right. Queens is the redheaded stepchild that everybody fucking hates. You're going to marry it? What? Huh? No, no, no. Oh. Okay. Can we put a photo of my fucking hot fiance up on the screen? Yeah, Arya, if you just pull up your Instagram feed. Please. I'm sure Work it's on that. Fucking pick one where her tits are out. Listen. There's pictures. I, I met her. She's gorgeous. I didn't say that. I, just, I met her. I mean, she, she is gorgeous. She's a lovely gal. But I saw her art. Her yeah, her art. art's absolutely incredible. Yeah, I didn't know she was an artist. Yeah, yeah. It was at the pro wrestling event where I sold out. What I was wrestling in the in the uh, in the main event, and I was in a. What show was this? What what was show this was this? Create that? a pro. Yeah. 
I wrestled at Creator Pro. You didn't know that? That's that is. I was in the Battle Royal. I eliminated Captain Joe Shoes. Captain Joe Shoes. So is is that pulled up here now? God damn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's fucking. She, he'll make sure it's it's on the. She's wild. On. We'll just get it on. So like, is that in Greece? So yes, that was in Greece. I believe right now we are looking at Santorini. Oh, I'm not looking at Santorini. Well, you're not. I get to see that every single day. Okay. I'm not saying I'm over it, but fuck. all right, relax. Um, Buffalo and Chicago, you hate so, them. Yeah, hate it. And Queens, oh. Queens is yeah. no better. Queens is absolutely no better. I'm listen. Are people still going to cheer me when I come out? Probably. I'm a mm -hmm. fucking star, dude. It is what it is. If you were in charge of all elite wrestling, yeah, what would you do? What would I do? Yeah. What would be the first thing you do if I put you in charge of all elite wrestling? If you had Tony Khan's job, is it a job? Because he owns the thing. I'd say it's a job. Yeah, it's a job. Because he he has to deal with a lot of different personalities, mm -hmm. and a majority of them are not intelligent. Um, I might be the only one that's intelligent out of all the personalities he has to deal with. Um, Stokely Hathaway is intelligent. Stokely Hathaway is very intelligent. Mm -hmm. I only surround myself with intelligent people. Um, Lee Moriarty also is a very astute student of the game, and I think he's a very intelligent cat. And I think Wardlow's a I smart guy. He's got a big year coming. <laughs> I think I think Lee Moriarty's got a big year ahead of him for sure. He's got green hair now. He does. When did that happen? You know, I like. In my opinion, I feel like he's like the Dennis Rodman mm -hmm. of the firm. Crazy talented. He's got that dog in him, and he's not afraid to do whatever it takes. But does to get the carpet match the pubes? Is my question. So that's a great question. I have not asked him if he's dyed his pubic hair green. But if you'd like me to, would you? No. Could you text him right no. now and ask him? In no world am I texting him, asking him if he dyed his pubic hair. Can you give me your phone? And let me text him. I don't think you should ever touch my phone, ever. I could touch it. It's right there. I, 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 could I go. dare you. What, are you making a fist at me now? Maybe, You're going to hit me? Maybe. You're going to hit me in the face? Maybe. Uh, so if I had Tony Khan's job, what would I do differently? Sure. You might not like this answer. I don't think I would do a thing differently. Because he's utilizing the top talents, in my mm. mind, to perfection. He is broadcasting and spotlighting his top talents. Uh, and you've seen that since I've come back. And that's a fact. Have these last two Dynamites that you have watched been exponentially better since I've come back? Yeah, they've been good. They've been good. Yeah, and your segments have been some of the top performing segments on the show. There's of no course. doubt about that. And now you get to sprinkle that in amongst a lot of other great performers. We also have a lot of great up-and-coming guys. Your Will Hobbses, your Ricky Starkses, mm -hmm. um, Ethan Page now. I feel like he's about to go on a tear. There's a lot of interesting characters right now on the show. Brody King. Mm -hmm. um, I feel like we are... Orange Cassidy, um, Darby Allen. These are all guys that are also good. Good rest. No, you don't like either of those two guys, Darby yeah. Allen and Orange Cassidy. I beat them both handedly in combat. I don't think that's true. I you punched Darby Allen with the ring, and then I, you pinned I, him with a side. At lock. no point uh, was the ring utilized. I gave him a right hand punch, and I beat him with a headlock takeover. I beat Darby Allen with a freaking headlock takeover. Everybody loves the acclaim too. Everybody loves the acclaim. Everybody except me. Max Caster's. A, I'm not scissoring you. you Scissor me one time. Moron. Please just scissor me. Not. Please. I detest Max Caster. Max Caster consistently makes sexual advancements on me on, online. He's always sexually harassing. You me. will scissor me and before this interview is over. And the fact that Mega Park, our lawyer, has not gotten to the bottom of it yet, and it's gotten nothing done with the Max Caster situation, is really upsetting at this point. Um, the firm. Now, this is where we talk about the firm. Yeah. Because uh, what happened was, if you haven't seen All Out. There was a casino ladder match to see who would win the chip to to go on to a title shot. Bingo. Well, there's six guys in there fighting their dicks off, just killing each other. None of them matter. And then the Joker's coming out, and that's when the firm comes out and lays waste to everybody. That's uh, Morrissey. Yep. That's Lee Moriarty. Yep. That's All Ego Ethan Page. Yep. Oh, is he still All Ego? Yeah. Okay. Uh, that's Stokely Hathaway. Yep. A couple more guys in there. Oh, the the, the Ass Boys. Yeah. yeah gun Club. Um, it's not. A, it's Gun Club. Well, the the Ass Boys. Gun Club. If you say Ass Boys one more time, we're going to have a problem. Say Gun Club. They don't appreciate when people call them that. You and I will have a problem, or I will have a problem with them? Because I'd rather have a problem with them. I'm okay it's, with that. It's me. Okay. The Gun Club, and they came out and laid waste to everybody, and then somebody dressed in a devil mask walked up, and you were able to get Some somebody. very handsome silhouette of a man. The firm out. did the job for you. Yeah. And that's what they're for. Yeah. 
it's a stable on retainer. Why? They will be utilized when necessary. Okay, so how did you, did you put this group together or did you say, Stokely, go put us a group together? So me and Stokely sat down and we developed this idea. And we developed uh, essentially who would fit best for this group, people that would benefit the most, people that wouldn't mind offending or upsetting the rest of the locker room or perhaps their own boss. And what are you doing? I'm uh, putting that over there. You have another interview at four. I don't want to make you late. That's a good point. And yeah, this, this, that's my. Uh, I do realize it looked rude to look at the clock, but I don't want to make you late. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that okay? What? Is that okay? Just shut the fuck up. I will. The so firm. we thought about everybody individually. You have a guy, um, Big Bill, as we like to call him, two Gs, two Ls. Um, Big Bill is over seven feet tall. He is. Can G you teach that? I don't know if you can teach that. I don't think you. I actually don't think you can. It's possible. I don't think you can. I don't think you can All teach right. it. All right. Um, he is incredibly talented. Um, he is dangerous. And he's definitely somebody that you want in your tent pissing out as opposed to outside of your tent pissing in. You got shut, Can I say shut something up. about him? Oh, no, no, no. This, I want to compliment yeah. the guy. Go right ahead. I, I just Jack, want, I just want you to be acting? careful because that guy looks insane. So when Stokely's going through the whole list and he's just his eyes don't blink, I'm a little worried. He's about an intense guy. Okay. We all have an intense friend. We all have an intense. friend. I don't friend have any friends. Friend. Well, that's a good point. So then you have Lee Moriarty, a guy who uh, his technical ability and wherewithal and in ring IQ is absolutely insane for a guy who's been in the industry for the amount of time he's been. I see a lot of myself in Lee Moriarty, uh, quite 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 frankly. I as don't. far as far as how quickly he's grasp an in ring IQ and knowledge of how to be a winner inside the ring. Okay. That's where I feel it, because he's a young guy, just like me. Mm -hmm. and he's, How young is he? I I believe he's in his 20s. Okay. Um, well, that's a big game, uh, big he, range right He might there. be a little older than me, yeah. but in my mind, he's still a blue-chip prospect. So you, somehow, in complimenting him, you still put yourself over as being younger. I mean, I'm a, f I'm a phenom. That's true. What do you want from me? So, Lee Moriarty, great guy, great technical wrestler. Ethan Page is a guy who absolutely exudes charisma when he comes to the curtain. I'm sure you're a big fan of All Ego. He's, he has... Why would I be a fan? Because he, he's just, he's a guy that walks through the curtain. He reminds me, in a lot of ways, he reminds me of Gino Hernandez. Tightest tits in the game. For sure. Mm -hmm. His tits are very tight. Mm -hmm. And right? I, I have the loosest tits. Loosest tits, game. for yeah. sure. They droop. Um, incredibly talented. Stokely Thank Hathaway you. is one of the... Uh, best oratory exhibitionists of all time in the history of the business. Is that a word? I don't like using the P word. I don't like the P word. Okay. Um, one of the greatest oratory exhibitionists in the history of the game. And then Gun Club are just incredible tag team, and I honestly can see them winning the AEW World Tag Team titles pretty soon. Really? I do. I honestly feel that I mean, there's some great tag teams out there like FTR. Sure. There's uh, the Acclaimed. Sure. Everybody loves the Acclaimed. Yeah. There's the, there's the Death Triangle. Yep. There's... I don't know. Somebody might be suspended. There's, so, there's a lot of people out there. So here's the deal. I honestly feel at the rate in which they're growing, they have a huge opportunity to beat everyone you just mentioned. Their own dad doesn't like them. They beat the shit out of their dad. And that's a fact. You think I'll be that jacked when I'm 58 years old? No. You, you're not that jacked now. What are you, like 49? I'm 43. Oh, sorry. Way off. You are... Getting incredibly married. handsome. Oh, you yeah. are getting married. Yeah. Now you did put on Instagram or maybe Twitter, one of these. I think it was Twitter, and you said, "Ladies, just because there's a goaltender, just because there's a goalie, doesn't you mean are, you, you are butchering." Can you please this. say it? Just because no, there's I, a goalie. I'm enjoying watching okay. the struggle. Ladies, just because there's a goalie doesn't mean you you're not going to be able to score. Can we put up that tweet just so people can see? How bad of a job he did. No. At just stating <laughs> it was something a very <laughs> simple quote. It was it was something like that. You are it, Listen, just because there's MJF, a goalie. Just, just stop. MJF's all about pinning shoulders on mats and banging rats. And that's never going to change. And my fiance understands that. She's a very sharing person. Okay? She knows the deal. She loves me. Okay? And she loves the amount of money that I have. She's not going anywhere. So daddy's going to keep on playing. My wife's the same way. Loves the money I got. You know, I bought a Mercedes. I have a feeling, uh, whether you realize it or not, you're sharing her quite a lot. What's that necessary to say out loud? Who's to say? But I am salt to the earth. That's fine. Let's, let's feel. Let's feel. Uh, so I've been married right here for 16 years. That's a long time. Uh, ladies panicking on my timeline, don't worry. Just because there's a goalie doesn't mean you can't score. Strive for greatness. Hashtag salt of the earth. How, how wild is it that... <laughs> So that's literally... It's a one sentence and I couldn't say it. Literally. <laughs> right. It's not... It's a one sentence. <laughs> I could not And you it. were just shook. I'm just I'm just a little nervous. Yeah, um, I bet. Uh, I, 
So I got you, 16 years of experience. Okay, you bartered for a horse 16 years ago. What, did you say a horse or a whore? Why not both? <laughs> I've met some horses like that. Anyway, go ahead. Ask yeah, me anything. That's a ring. Ask me anything. You really want me to ask you advice? You want advice? some advice? I'll give it to you. I'll give it to you. Okay. Advice number one. Yeah. What the fuck are you doing getting married, you dumb shit? What are you talking about? What the fuck is wrong with you? Buddy, it would be one thing if I didn't get to do whatever the hell I wanted 24-7. That's not a situation you find yourself in. Because what you did was, I'd imagine, you found a woman that wants to have sex with you. Already, you're punching up. Correct. Already, you're punching Already up. Already beating the odds. You can't make any rules. You're, you're fucked, right? Mm-hmm. I'm daddy. Daddy does what he wants. Daddy makes the rules. So that's the difference between what my marriage is going to be and what your marriage to the whore horse is. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not ignoring you. I'm pulling up a picture of my wife so you can see her. So, sure. So you can see that we're on the same, on the same page. I bet. So um, You really want to do this. You want to put your wife in harm's way right now. No, yeah. No, on the air. That, right there. You typed in 20 hottest photos of Kate Upton, I muscle did. and fitness. I did. I just, my wife looks like Kate Upton is what I'm trying to tell you. Um, what okay, are you going what, through texts now? Okay, all right. What is this? You were going through texts. God I damn, was, how'd yeah. you do that so fast? Why not? All right. Uh, did you hear Triple H is in charge of the other place now? Great guy. Great guy. Great guy. Yeah. 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 Really has a nose for talent. Yeah. As, as honestly, I have a very large nose as well. And I think it has something to do with the amount of talent you have in the wrestling business. I don't think The Rock had a very big nose. That was the problem. That's why you had to get out early, pursue the acting thing. Ric Flair? Flair's got a fucking heart. Yeah, he on does. Him. He really does, doesn't he? Shawn Michaels. So, before it got broken, yeah. decent sized nose. I, you don't know that. Yeah, look it up. Shawn Michaels had a big nose early? Pretty solidly big nose. Okay, fair enough. I'll look, I'll look later. Uh, who's the greatest wrestler of all time? Me. Before you, who was it? Before me? Hmm. That's, see, that's a, very, that's a tough question. If you want to go for overall package and not just, just being an just this phenom of a star. To me, it's Piper. But if you want to go in-ring, I think Triple H is up there, man. I really do. Mm -hmm. And I don't think he gets enough credit because guys like Austin and Rock, of course, they were very good. Yeah. But you need to put them in there with somebody who is great. Did you just give me an actual wrestling answer? 100%. Wow. Yeah. That's, I think our relationship is blooming right now. No, no, it's I not. I think we're buddies. Nope. Can I come to the wedding? No. Can I no. see pictures of the wedding? If you're, if you're thinking of a question that involves us being friends in any capacity, the answer is no. Well, when no. We, guys, I, I, I didn't want to say this out loud, but during his three-month sabbatical, me and MJF hung out. We went. We hung out. Where did we go? On Long Island. Yep. We went to uh, the pizza place out there. Never left my home. We went roller skating. Nope. We uh, we, we, we did a, the whole strobe light roller skating, and then we went and skipped rocks on the beach. That's really sad. That's the mandate I came up with. I'm like concerned for <laughs> right. That's health. that that is. I I might have is a concussion. Is that like your idea of a perfect day? Pizza, roller skating, and going to the beach. It's pretty close. Yeah, you're a big roller skater. No. I I yeah. Yeah, I'm I feel not, like you'd be like a fucking I elephant fall a on lot. roller skates. Yeah, I'm like a giraffe on roller skates. It's yeah. not it's not very good. Um, what does this mean? I guess you already kind of answered it a little bit. I answer everything. What does your engagement mean for Long Island skanks? There's still hope. There's still hope. Never and, quit. And In the words of one of the greatest wrestlers of all time, John Cena, never give up. That's all? That's it. <laughs> I thought that was okay. That's the quote. <laughs> that was, Look that it was it. Look yeah. it up if you don't believe me. Um, you ever met John Cena? I met him one time. Really? Uh, it was back in the day. I was 18. I was mm -hmm. doing extra work for WWE. Mm -hmm. And they wanted to paint me up like uh, Finn Balor because they were trying to figure out what his paint should look like for yeah. the show. So they painted me up. They took a, f they took a photo of me. Um, Finn Balor comes into the room. He was like, yeah, this is good. And I was like, this is wild. Like, what a, what a wild concept and interaction. Like, couldn't you guys have just, like, did, like, a mock drawing right. like, of you a cartoon? You were the paint dummy for Finn Balor? I was Balor? quite literally the paint dummy for Finn Balor. Um, now I'd imagine I'd probably make a lot more money. But it's fine. So it, that's fine. It's not important. Finn's I, a great guy. I didn't ask. Finn's you. a great guy. So I leave the room, mm -hmm. and I wash off as much of it as I can. 
But obviously, I'm doing extra work, so I showed up in a suit. So the only thing I was wearing was dress pants and dress shoes. And then my upper, I'm not wearing anything, and there's just smudged paint and on me. And faded makeup? Basically, I looked like Darby Allen. And you never want to look like Darby Allen. Well, he's... Ever! He's a hit with the So ladies. obviously, Cena looked at me, and he was like... Interesting. Interesting mm -hmm. choice of clothes. And I said, thank you, John. And I walked away. And that was our interaction. What an incredible interaction. It was It was good. It was yeah. good. Yeah. I didn't know you were capable of telling a story that bad. It was just a short story. It's, it's, I, don't, I wish something more intriguing happened. I mean, if you want, I can make something up. I walked out of the room. Uh, John Cena was like, my God, what a cool look. Do you yeah. want to hang out later? I said yes. So like what I so, just did so with what you. what we did was we went roller skating. <laughs> and then we, yeah, that's right, asshole. All right, okay. next question. I can see how that would sound stupid yeah. coming yeah, out of somebody yeah. else's mouth. Yeah. Um, all right. I want people to get to know you, the real MJF. I'm always real. Because you are a time. super dude. Just yeah. a terrific guy. Salt of the earth. Uh, what's the worst town AEW goes to? It might be Queens. But I'm that's, serious. That's the Queens. front door to Long Island. Queens and Long Island are the same thing. Saying that. I've been to, stop saying that. I've been to Long Island like four times, all the parties, mm -hmm. and I had to drive through Queens every time. And I'm sorry that that had to happen, that you can't afford a helicopter. Can I ask a uh, – no chance you helicoptered in the city today. You kidding me? You don't think I took Blade? Do you have the Blade app on your phone? I do not have it on my phone. I do not have it on my phone. Okay. All right. You know who does? My manager, who flew in with me. Really? Yep. I've never ridden on a helicopter. Is it scary? No. Okay. Um, where was I at? Okay. Uh, have you ever bitten somebody in the locker room fight? Never. Not once. You ever wanted to? No. All right. Scratch that out. What's your favorite dessert? That's a tough question. Thank you. See, this might be the best question you've ever asked me. Thank you. Well, I'm it very interested. It took you four fucking interviews to get this it done. This is five, but yeah. This is the fifth one? God. Oh, no, it is four. It is four. It is four. Life. Sorry. Oh, okay. You did two once, and you're doing two today. Um, you don't know that. So I'm going to say it's a tie between New York-style cheesecake. Is that the Italian-style cheesecake? No. With the ricotta cheese? No. Oh. No. See, I'm not a fan of that. It's too soft. I like. I like the soft hard. cheesecake. I like my. I like it soft. I always like it hard. I like it soft, and that makes sense because of my penis. Fuck yeah. yeah. Um, and then the other option being, um, I know this is going to sound boring, but there's something about flan that I love. I go to a Mexican. restaurant. You're a flan I'm fan. A big flan guy. Flan fan. I'm a flan. Flan fan. Flan. I'm a flan fan. Flan or flan? Flan. Flan okay. fan. I'm a fan of flan. Flan. All right, we got it. No, we got it. Yeah. Um. I like creme brulee. That's fucking lame. Yeah, I was just lying. I like banana pudding, real southern dessert. It's bananas and and vanilla wafers. I know what banana pudding is. I've never you, eaten you've it never had good I'm banana poor, pudding. Yeah, you, but I know what it is. Like I know what living in a box is, but I never experienced it. Same way I've never experienced banana pudding. You should come to Jersey. We should hang out. That's never happening. Next. What, what, who's your what, what's your favorite movie of all time? Favorite movie of all time, Goodfellas. That's such a lame answer. It's really not, though, because it's, it it's a cinematic masterpiece. It's fine. It has everything in it that you could possibly want and more. In, There's in no a, titties in, in it. Movie. You're right. You're right. Now, there are covered-up titties that are really nice. Yeah, but, but there's no titties. There's no, outwardly, no, there's no titties. So that's but a, when you're not sex-depraved like you, it's not something you're looking for in every single piece of cinema. <laughs> I was watching Wheel of Fortune the other day, and I'm like, come on, titties! Yeah, I bet. And they just With never... Poor horse. They just never, they just never came out. Continue. Uh, your favorite video game. Favorite video game of all time. I don't play video games because I have sex. Next question. A lot of sex-deprived questions. That was how I asked about video games. You said sex. I said nothing about sex I there. understand, but you wouldn't have even have thought to ask that question if you were somebody that has sex. How much money are you getting for real? It's a lot, dude. <laughs> like, it's a lot of fucking money. You have no idea. Yeah, and he didn't... I'm a pig and he shit, didn't, dude. He didn't... No contract extension. He didn't make you sign an extension. Nope. So he, you can just... You could you could walk in 2024 if things don't go well. That's literally what I've been saying in every single interview. But wrestling fans are like... <laughs> fucking morons. Do you plan to walk in 2024? I plan to go wherever the most money is, and if it's AEW, great. If it's not, great. What if on... on is it January 1st? January 1st, 2024, mm -hmm. you were the reigning AEW champion. You would leave with that belt? That, what, that. It's bidding war 2024. Mm -hmm. To me, it's not just a prestigious title. Because to me, it's one, it's, it is the top prize in professional wrestling. It is. It is. Don't, don't say anything. 
But it's not just that. For me, it's also a bargaining chip. Okay. Fair enough. So I do think that the reason why fans get up in arms when I talk about this is because they're like, that's not funny, man. Yeah. Like, stuff's going on in AEW, dude. You can't just be talking about that. I can do whatever the fuck I want. So deal with it. What about... what about? Uh, and you're going to be hearing about it till January 1st, 2024. And then you're going to find time. out what happens. I need to and know. And I just might hold the title from, who knows, maybe I win it this week, and then I hold it all the way until then. And I just crow and crow and crow. But you're still going to cheer me, right? Because right. you love me. You're a devil worshiper. What's going on? Who's your favorite member of the bloodline in WWE? Honestly, so does, can I say Sami Zayn, or is he an honorary oos, so it doesn't count? I think he's an honorary oos. I thought he was like, I, is he not a fish I don't think now? he's officially in. He's not a fish in? I think he's just, I think he's just kind of hanging on. Did I, I'm going to go with uh, my uncle Paul. Okay. Paul Heyman. Yeah. Is he officially in? I mean, I know he's a member of I my think tribe. I think he's hired out as a member of the Bloodline. No, he's, in, he's, he's Bloodline. He's not Bloodline. He's Bloodline of Fish, yeah. All right. Making mage moves. Oh, yeah, dude. Yeah. Um, I tried to take a hail a cab the other day in New York. Yeah. Stood out there for an hour. Nobody stopped. Nobody stopped, huh? Yeah. I'm not shocked. It's because your arm's up so people can smell your, you know. Grotesque B.O. <laughs> All right. Well, I think this has gone well. Yeah. Are we done? Tell me we're done. We've got one more thing to do. Fuck. but Yeah. Uh -huh. oh. These are always fascinating. You enjoy coming I have here. to be honest with you. I don't think these have been good since the first one. I find you repetitive, annoying, and you don't listen to me when I tell you to lower your seat. I think the second Which one reminds me. I'm going to need you to lower your seat. No, no, no. The I'm gonna need second you, one... If you want to ask the question, I'm going to need you to lower your seat. The second one was the highest grossing one. The first one was not. The second one was the best one. It's a... Uh, I agree. I, 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 I just... I'm not, I, I don't, don't have like it you. lately. I, I don't like you, and I'm not saying that to like be funny. I just find you annoying. I find you repetitive. I find you grotesque. When I look at you, I gag in my mouth. And the sight of you, the sheer sight of you, makes me want to jump through that fucking window. We're only on the second floor. It would just you just sprain your ankle. I probably would, right? I just land on my feet. Yeah. Like oh, the way you're built, though, you'd probably be fine. But I, I wouldn't take the risk. It's a normal fucking back bump for me, bud. So, oh, I, where was your number in the PWI thing? It was 16. Can I ask you a question? You can ask me anything. Do you think it's weird to be ranked the 16th best wrestler in the world and you don't wrestle? So, I think the reason I'm the 16th. You haven't wrestled is because in six I, months. I, the reason I'm the 16th is because I'm a commodity. Mm -hmm. I do not wrestle often. I am an attraction, much like Andre the Giant. I am not someone to be whored out. You're like 5'10". What's that? You're like 5'10". I'm an attraction in a, in a different sense of the word. I'm an attraction in the sense that people would die and like literally take a human life if they knew that they get to see me wrestle because people desperately want to see me get in the ring. And I don't give it to them unless it means something. Fair enough. Do you know the do you know all fifteen people that are ranked ahead of you? I genuinely don't. I just know one that offended me. Um, the one that offended me was definitely Okada. Okada was ranked second. Mm -hmm. um, no one from New Japan has been relevant since like two thousand fourteen, and the fact that we're pretending that they are is fucking laughable to me. Well, the AJ fact that we Styles had a joint over there. The fact that we had a joint pay per view with with them is was also fucking laughable to were me. Were you happy to miss that? And oh my god, uh, over the moon. Um, you know, t around that time was when Tony started calling me yeah. and I was like, I'm picking the phone. I don't care what number you give me. So who would you have wrestled uh, if you had been there? You think? Honestly, I don't know. All right. So here's, here are the 15 guys ahead of MJF. Go Roman Reigns. He's number one. He should be. He's a yeah. stud. Okada. That's a joke. CM Punk. Okay. Uh, Adam Page. Hangman Adam Page. Also, that's a joke. I've beaten Hangman Adam Page, and that was the first time I won my Dynamite Diamond Ring. Bobby Lashley? He's, come on. Great guy, though. Cody Rhodes? Your old friend. I'm cool with it. Cody's a good guy. You know what? The first time you were here, you called him the biggest piece of shit that's ever walked the earth. We've been through a lot. Brian Danielson? Nah, that's, that's absolutely ridiculous. I don't sure, even... Sure, he has the charisma of paint drying, and yeah, he's like a great technical wrestler, but like, what about him makes you go like, I need to watch this guy. Like, stop. It's is fucking this, ridiculous. Is this from this year? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Keep who, going. I didn't know who number eight is. Who's El Hijo? So, so can I speak on that? Yeah. So <laughs> this is my problem. No, no, no. This is my problem. And again, for the most part, a majority of the list, I actually thought it was excellent, and I agreed with a lot of the standpoints. And I even tweeted, and I said, good job. My problem with wrestling Twitter is it's not real life. Um, you guys will put people over on there that are legitimately garbage at fucking wrestling, aren't good at talking, are good at nothing, but they post, like, 
funny videos or some shit online. And you're like, that's the guy. Someone sign him, right? It's, it's stupid. And then there's the other flip side where it's like, you need to be watching New Japan. You need to be watching AAA because this guy. Or you need to watch CML because this guy. And then I'll watch it in full, not just a clip. You guys are watching clips and being like, this guy's one of the top 10 wrestlers in the world. Fucking is he? Watch the whole fucking match. And then with eye contact, not through a phone, with eye contact, tell me that they're better than me. Because they're not. Because nobody is. Because literally fucking nobody on the planet is better than me in the ring or on the microphone. And that's a fucking fact. Now, there are certain people I'm fine with being ahead of me because they actually earned it. And they're actually that talented. I don't know who El Hio Del whatever the fuck is. Mm -hmm. And neither do you, and neither does anyone in this room, and I bet you neither does a majority of the people online that are going, man, that guy fucking slaps. You've never seen one of his fucking matches. You've seen clips of him doing dives. You've never seen a full match of his. Grady's a great guy, though. And if he works for Conan, I take back everything I said. I like him because me and K-Dog are cool. Um, how did, is this a real list? How did Car- Cardona get to number 13? Matt's a great guy. What Cardona did to get to number 13? He's from Long Island. Oh, he's Long Island. Yeah, yeah. salt of the earth. Long yeah. So he's the, he's the best Long Island-based wrestler in the world. Uh, in, in their opinion, sure. I don't know who Josh Alexander is either. Josh Alexander, he's good people. He's from Canada. Is he really? Yeah. He, I, mean, I thought you hated Canada. He's a nasty fuck, but he, I mean, he's a nice guy. All right. Well, I guess I can let you go. This was enlightening. I, I enjoyed it. Thank you. Thank you so much. I'm just kidding. Uh, can, could we, you, can we never fucking do this? Could you, could you, can did, we never? Did you enjoy this? Can we never is fucking it, do this? Is that a Rolex? I'm be, no, absolutely not. Oh. It's a bright one. That's oh, a beautiful watch. Yeah, yeah. You know, who wears, you know who wears Rolexes? Who? Like tryhard marks that were like, Ric Flair said, and then they don't like actually know about watches, mm-hmm. and they're just like, I'll get a Rolex. Like, that's who wears it. I don't think Ric Flair does so, anymore because like, they cost money. I bet El Hio Del whatever the fuck probably has a Rolex or whatever. Probably. I don't know. Yeah. I feel bad. I'm just like I might have spanking this guy. He might actually be really good at wrestling. I just hate the fact that people feel the need to pretend that certain people are bigger stars just so they, like, I don't know. It, it's almost like points if mm-hmm. you're, like, a fan of something obscure. It's very odd. Yeah. you're. You're. By the way, you're preaching to this guy in the corner. He's a huge wrestling fan. And yeah. He can't stand exactly what you're talking it's about. It's just odd. I don't understand why people – it's just like the people more obscure want- you get, the more people are like, Yeah. I know what I'm talking about because I'm one of 10 people that have watched a full match of this person. They better put him in the top 10 of the PWI. Like, stop, dude. Well, this is future AEW champion Maxwell Jacob Friedman. And I'm better than you, and you know it. I, I wasn't Just stop. Ready. Just stop. It's over. It's done. Roll credits. That's right. Roll them!